Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski and here are your top stories. Premier Christy Clark was in Kelowna once again this week to announce province-wide funding for transit initiatives including new buses, new technology and capital infrastructure funding. We are the first province in the country to sign a bilateral agreement with the federal government to support transit. And that means about $160 million in new investment in transit outside the Lower Mainland. And in Kelowna, that means new buses. It means refurbished buses. It means uh, technology that allows us to keep count of passengers so we can constantly be improving services on routes that are busier than we'd expect. A major renovation to the transit exchange at Okanagan campus of UBC is in the works with a completion date of spring 2018. An RCMP dive team searched Mission Creek Wednesday with metal detectors. Three members conducted a grid search looking for evidence pertaining to a Kelowna file. It was unclear what crime was being investigated and officers were tight-lipped about the matter. The search was expected to last a few days. The city of Kelowna is making Knox Mountain a lot more interesting thanks to an app that lets you explore the outdoors in an interactive way. Active by Nature launched the app this past Thursday. So the Knox challenge is about getting to the top as fast as you can um, and timing it and challenging your friends and, and seeing how you improve in your progress. And then the um, Knox Your Socks app, which we just did, is more interactive, more playful. Um, it gets you to learn about um, the park itself, the community, some of the history, some of the fun things you might find um, throughout the different seasons here. Active by Nature was designed to reduce barriers to physical activity and get you to explore the outdoors. After a Statistics Canada report released figures pointing to the Central Okanagan as having the second highest crime rate in Canada, Castanet wanted to know what residents thought, so we hit the streets to find out. There's a lot of bumming, you know, cigarettes here and there, but other than that, it hasn't been too bad. Except where I lived, I go to my car and the car's all jacked up on, on, on blocks and the tires are gone. Uh, I don't know if it's any more than any other place, personally. I've lived in Penticton and it, I mean everywhere you live there's some. Downtown's uh, pretty bad for, for crime and the courts are too lenient, they're back out in the street right away. This week Kelowna Mayor Colin Bazaran challenged five people to donate a bag of food to the Central Okanagan Food Bank. The initiative took off similar to the local version of the Ice Bucket Challenge. Both myself and reporter Wayne Moore were challenged and we accepted. Premier Christy Clark was also challenged and while she was in a Premier's meeting in Whitehorse, she did have someone drop food off in her riding. The one bag challenge came about as a way to help stock the barren shelves at the Central Okanagan Community Food Bank. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for watching.